You do not walk away from having been assaulted with a knife without some consequence for you and your family for the rest of your days. Guys, if you ever pick a knife up, you're not just devastating one family, you're giving your own family a life sentence. Very proud to have worked in the Royal now for just over 21 years and for the last nine or ten years we've spoken to just over 95,000 young people about the reality of knife crime. We go out, show people the, the images, we tell them the stories and the thing that always gets people, the blood and guts is one thing, but it's actually when we talk to them about what it's like to have to tell somebody that their son or daughter's been killed. You can guarantee that the whole room will go quiet when we explain that somebody will walk through and within probably 20 to 30 seconds say these words to your parents, hi I'm Rob. I'm one of the clinicians. I'm afraid I've got no good news to tell you here. I'm really sorry, but your son's dead. The last 10 stabbings in our city, the person's been stabbed once. The big thing that ran out that day for them was their luck. Your family will wait, on average, a minimum of six weeks until they get your body back. When you come in like this, I don't even know your name. It doesn't matter to me what your name is. You're unconscious. It's like going through with your mum and dad. That's what makes my job hard. The words I use, what my name is, what I look like, your family will remember for up to 10 years. The Knife Angel was built in Oswald Street two and a half years ago by the British Ironworks Centre. Um, it was commissioned by them and built by an amazing sculptor called Alfie Bradley. It's been built out of 100,000 blades, it's 27 feet tall and weighs five and a half tonnes. And the original plan two and a half years ago when it was built was that it would go to London to highlight the issues around knife injuries and knife crime. I personally wish that the media would cover all this because people get to see the true reality of knife crime. It's not about the stabbing. It partly is, and it's partly about the, the court case and whatever else, but the true reality when you pick a knife up is you devastate families, not just the person you stabbed to death or the person you cut, it's your own family as well. Already they think it's been seen by 25,000 people approximately. It's been tweeted today by um, William Shatner, who used to be the original Captain Kirk or TJ Hooker for people of a certain generation. Um, and apparently it was the most watched video on Lad Bible on the day of its installation. It's gone absolutely epic. We would rather come out to a school like here today that's welcomed us or have a piece of art like the angel to even if it means that we highlight it to young people and reduce it by one instance it has to be worth us doing it.